All right, so we're going to continue on with our books about worms. Again, such a funny topic. But our next book is going to be about drawing worms. But before we read it, I wanted to talk about some fun facts that we can learn about earthworms. So I found this little printout on the internet, and it says the first fact we learn about earthworms is that earthworms breathe through their skin. Imagine being able to breathe through all of your skin. The second fact is that worms that come out at night are called night crawlers. And those are pretty big, kind of like they're darker colored worms and they're big. Ugh, sometimes they look a little yucky. All right, three, there are over 6,000 different types of earthworms. So the next time you see a bunch of earthworms that have maybe washed up on your driveway, maybe they're not even all the same type. Maybe they're different types. There's over 6,000 different types, so I don't know. Four is earthworms have no bones or skeletons, and they don't. That's why they can be kind of wormy, you know, or they're kind of flexible and squirmy. And five is the largest worm ever found was over 22 feet long. Oh my goodness, that is so long. It's probably about the length of a library, I would think. So that is a really, really long worm. Um, I hope I never run into a worm that long. But now we're going to read a book about drawing worms. So I want you to think about maybe art class and you sit down and you're ready to draw something, but maybe it's a little scary to draw something really complex. The, our author here, his name is Will Mabbitt, and he gets a little concerned about that. So he wants to just stick to drawing worms. So you're going to see this book here where he says, I can only draw worms. Here we go. I can only draw worms by Will Mabbitt. This book is about worms. I can only draw worms. Here is worm one. Okay, so here's worm number one. Looks pretty wormy, I like it. Here is worm two. Wait a minute, they look pretty similar. Here they are both together. It's hard to know which is which. He's right, I can't tell which one is worm one and worm two. I'll give the second worm glasses. That's better, now you can tell them apart. That must mean that this is worm one and this is worm two. Here's worm three. Ooh, she's a different color. That makes her easy to tell apart from worm one and worm two. Now worm three. No reason for the different color. I just lost my pen. Oh, he must have lost his pink pen, and so that's why he made her yellow. Hello, Worm 4. Worm 4 thinks he's in charge of all the other worms. I don't know why. Ooh, he must be a bossy worm. Here's Worm 5. She's a little sick, I'm afraid. Sick worms look just like normal worms. It's true. The sick worm looks just like the bossy worm. I can't really tell a difference between the two. The next page is really exciting. Worm six is riding on a flying unicorn. Oh man, that sounds so cool. Are you ready to see the flying unicorn? Here we go. Um, I don't see a unicorn. Well, the author says, I can't draw flying unicorns. I've drawn worm five again instead. Oh my goodness. Worm six flies his unicorn all the way to meet worm seven who lives in outer space. On the way, worm six has an amazing adventure. But we'll skip all that. Okay, they are in outer space. That's what, probably why it's dark. Here's a picture of him meeting worm seven. Worm six and worm seven. He looks all cool and everything, but inside he's really excited. Yeah, he does look pretty cool. Oh dear, there has been a dreadful accident. Ooh, what, what sort of accident do you think might happen to the worms? Uh oh. It's not true that if a worm is cut in half, it makes two worms. It makes two half worms. So here's worm eight and here's worm eight and a half. 
<laughs> Oops. This page is blank because worm nine is missing. Looks like the others are starting to get worried. Oh, yeah, there's worm two. I don't know who the rest of these are, but there's worm three. We know worm three, she stands out. The rest of them all kind of look the same. Here's worm 10 instead, the last worm. She looks the same as worm one. Oh, oops, <laughs> it is worm one. Here's worm 10, last as usual. And look who he's found, worm nine. She'd just gone to the bathroom. Sorry. That's okay, Worm Nine. Everybody has to go sometime. So now that's Worm One, Two, Three, Four, Five, Six, Seven, Eight, Eight and a Half, Nine, and Ten. Ten worms, all friends together. This book was about worms because I can only draw worms. And that's the end. We see one little worm sticking out there. So that was I Can Only Draw Worms. And it is a 1.6 reading level. So if your AR level is somewhere with the 1.5 to like maybe 2.0, this would be a good book for you. Snail and Worm, the book we read in the previous video, was a 1.7. So these are all right in the same area of our AR levels. So there you go. Keep listening because we are about to do another book called What About Worms? And it's going to be a lot of fun.